my maps department. So now you know how to log into Linkit. Most of you probably don't have any data in there right now, but I'm going to show you very quickly how to run a report if you wanted to run a report. So this second icon here is called reporting. I click on that and then I click on dashboard. There's a few different types of reports to run. I'm in what's called Explorer and I'm going to drag this algebra readiness test in here. This was a test that was created by Linkit and the algebra teachers are giving the test to all their students right now. Okay. If I go there, I can see the different teachers and how many classes they've actually given the test to. So, so far it looks like Mr. Rabinsky and Mr. Ryan have given it to their classes that are together and Mr. Lamon has given it to one class. The results aren't that great, which, you know, I kind of expect because they probably aren't all that ready for algebra. We know that they come and they're not doing that well. Okay, let's close that. This little green thing will give me the individual student results. This will give me how they did on each question. This gives me how they did broken down by standard. This I can customize reports. I haven't played around with that one yet. And you can group reports. I haven't played around with that either. Okay, so the most interesting one I think is the item analysis. If it's a Linkit test or a test that we've uploaded into Linkit for them to take on Linkit, we can actually see here which questions they really aren't doing that well on and look at the actual question. So here, this one is the most striking to me. Um, the correct answer was A and only 13% of kids got the correct answer and 38% chose an incorrect answer of C. So that's something that's probably worth exploring. So open up the question. And I don't really like how they lay things out, how I have to scroll like this um, to look at the question, but it looks like it's about graph reading and what the relationship between the different um, labels on the graph were. And they're doing that a lot in physics too, so I'm not quite sure why they would do so horrible on that, but worth exploring. I think that features interesting, if nothing else, in this. Um, that's basically all I really know how to do as of right now. Hope you enjoyed this little video, and I'll see you all later.